Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at the TIG Weld 200SX and we're going to use it to repair an impeller for a cooling fan on a Porsche 911 or 914. So I went ahead and I set the machine up on TIG DC using the foot control and set the amperage to about 100 amps DC electrode negative. Okay, so let's take a look at what's actually wrong with the part here. So the part actually has a mating component right here that fits right on top. Uh, and so this goes over a shaft and you can see that there's a small keyway uh, right there inside of the uh, inner shaft right there where it slips over the keyway on the main shaft in the motor there. So then what happens is, is this other piece goes over here and it's got some fasteners that go through these holes around here but if those fasteners get loose then the part will tend to rock back and forth and we can see the wear that's taken place here on this this outer piece here we can see the the wear on the inside of it there okay and then we also can see where there's a significant amount of wear right here along that shaft assembly. So that's what we're going to try to overlay and take care of here in a matter of a few minutes here. So hang out and let's see what happens uh, and we'll see if we can save it here uh, and get it off to the machine shop so that they can uh, finish up the last little cut on it there and get it finished up to size. Okay, let's take a quick look here and see how the part's actually made. So what we can see is, is there's actually a number of rivets inside the part here that can be seen and these rivets show up like this on the outside but we can see what's happened here is is there's actually a steel inner core that actually has the the shaft and the keyway or the hole for the shaft and the keyway located in the center of it there and then the outside of it here is either aluminum or some kind of uh, magnesium type material here so we've got a dissimilar metal part and here's an example of uh, how we can tell the difference here is so I've got my uh, strong arm, uh, strong arm uh, mini magnet here that I'm going to use, and I can see that the magnet it doesn't stick to this outside piece here. But if I move it to the inner part here, then we can see all of a sudden now it sticks. So we have detected that this is a bimetallic part, or the outside is made out of aluminum or magnesium casting, and the inside piece here is made out of steel. So we're going to proceed using some ER70S-2 gas tungsten arc welding wire here to try to fix this up. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get this set up so that we can weld on it. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, there's a number of different ways we could probably set it up here, but I'm just going to use one of our uh, strong hand clamps that we've got here today uh, and set that up uh, so that I can easily grab it here and hold on to it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slip the clamp around the impeller assembly right here and I'm going to slide that up there until it feels like it's starting to get tight and then I'm going to rotate the clamp until it starts to feel like it firms up and then I'm going to roll the part here so that it's nice and flat so that it's easy to weld on tighten up the clamp here and that should make a nice good firm setup for me to go ahead and weld on so I got myself comfortable and got my strong hand tools TIG torch holder in place. So there you can see that worn out surface that we need to fill in. That's the groove right there on the center of the screen there uh, that's kind of worn out and needs to be filled in and brought up flush. So I went ahead and got it positioned, got a good ground to it, and then went ahead and lit off the arc making sure that that arc only was on that surface that I was going to weld. I could easily damage the part if I had an arc strike on an adjacent surface or some place where it didn't belong. So the first part, or the first side, filled up real nice. It was a little bit smaller than the second side. So I went ahead and once it cooled off, I went ahead and flipped it over and got prepared to weld up the second side. So the first pass I put across didn't quite fill it up. So then I came and put a second pass across here to make sure that it was full and it was flush. I didn't want it to come back from the machine shop 
and have it not be filled up. So make sure that you fill it up and don't leave it underfilled. The TIGWELD 200SX did a good job at getting this Porsche back on the road. Anytime I need something for my Porsche, I always head over to Parts Heaven. Al, Spencer, and Jeff always take care of everything I need.